Alrighty, hey guys, so I'm back home now. I have been in Melbourne and Brisbane and I'm back home. So I was in Melbourne and we went and saw Luke Combs. If anyone doesn't know who that is, 100% go and YouTube him. Just like my favorite singer at the moment. Yeah, that was a really, really good concert. It was in the Palace Theatre, I think that's how you said. Next to Luna Park uh, at St Kilda. So then I flew to Brisbane to see my sister and her partner and their little poplar, which you would have seen if you follow me on Instagram. While I was away, I got you guys to ask some questions. Not really questions, more chasing opinions on things, like ask my opinion, ask for some advice. I, people ask for my opinions and advice all the time on Instagram. I have no idea why, <laughs> but I thought, why not just hit all the questions at once? I'm just holding my arm because I'm really sore. <laughs> <laughs> this camera's not even that big, I really need to get more arm strength. Entered them while I was at my sister's house in Brisbane. Oh, her channel has been taken over by a large fluffy dog. Oh, yeah, you're in the shot oh, now. Jeff. Look at Jeff. Alrighty, guys, it is. What's today? Friday. It is Friday. <laughs> it is nighttime. It is raining. And we're gonna answer some questions for you guys to send through. I was more chasing opinions and advice because I think that's a bit more exciting than just questions. But we might answer some questions while we're here. And I got my little sister here. She's over there. <laughs> hey, friend. She is an alcoholic and drank all the wine at the airport. The free wine. <laughs> the free wine. All right, we're just gonna scroll all the way to the bottom. Alrighty, so would you leave your job to do a full-time YouTube Insta career? No. <laughs> it's a very unreliable source of income. Everything can go down. The internet is not reliable at all, and I don't see it as a viable source of income. And the money I make from YouTube and sponsored posts is not adequate enough to consider it a career. But it, people who do, props to them because this shit is stressful. <laughs> First mod you recommend? I would recommend a locker because how did you know that? Because you always praise your lockers. Yeah see even Katie knows. Katie don't even fall drive but she knows. <laughs> I would yeah 100% do a locker because even with skinny tires which my 75 came out with the split rims and no lift a locker will carry you up and over everything so I don't if you're gonna do something, a $500 locker in the front, that'd be the one to do. You got a chicken nugget? The last cookie. Oh, looks like chicken. <laughs> this one's probably more of a question, but I suppose I can give advice on it. How can we gain more followers? How do I get all the people to like me? You still gotta have stuff that people like and are interested in. If you have a hobby, say mine's for driving, I go on to the hashtag section of Instagram and search hashtag four drive and I like a heap of photos on there because what that does is get my page's name in their account so they see my name pop up and go hmm who's this page why they're liking my stuff and then they jump on because what you want is people to hop on your page otherwise they're never going to hear of you and they have the option then to follow you or not but if you don't have good content they'll still go there but they won't follow you because they don't want to keep seeing that I don't know if that helps other people so there's a heap of questions on my job in the Air Force, so I'll try and like skim through all of these. Is it hard work your job? Not really. There is heavy lifting, obviously being heavy vehicle stuff, but there's cranes, wheel carriers, machinery for everything so that you don't have to exert copious amounts of energy. Why did you pick the Air Force? Uh, I picked the Air Force because I knew people in the Air Force and that was pretty much the only reason. Let's just say I'm very glad I picked the Air Force. How did you become an Air I Force mechanic? Well. Applied. <laughs> 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 Just apply online and everyone who asks about my job you can actually find out everything going on the defense website. Uh, what's your opinion on TD42 GU coil cabs? The only thing I do know is if you've got a GU coil cab as opposed to a, the ones with leafs then you, you're probably onto a good seat. Did you want fish and chips? Yeah, yeah I think Crumb? so. Uh, no, I batted. You weirdo. Did you say batted? Yeah. Are yeah. you sure you're related to them? Potato oh, scallops are the bomb. Yeah, no. they sound good. And sea scallops are also the bomb. Yeah, like actual scallop, like what a scallop actually is. Yeah. And don't let them score. Uh, yes. How do me and my girlfriend make new friends? Oh, interesting question. 
I, I think it depends what you're into. I think if you can both find something that you're into, maybe go and do that, like a sport or a hobby. If, uh, if four-wheel driving's it, maybe join a four-wheel drive club. All right, so thoughts on 200 series? Uh, I would that? never buy one because you can buy a house for that amount of money, and I don't know why anyone would buy a brand new car for over a hundred thousand dollars or however much they are. Uh, I just think it's probably a poor investment, really, in the long run. It can't do anything more than what any other car does, so each to their own. How do I do a skid? What sort of question is this? Like, if you don't know, you probably shouldn't be doing one, let's be honest. What do you like to mix your rum with? I'm just doing questions now. This it just turned into a questions again. Coke, you mix it with Coke, you weirdos. Use on original Yellow Love label rum. I think between turning 18, or no, probably like 16 and 20, 22, I had enough Yellow Rum to kill pirates so red rum is the choice nowadays how do you like melbourne it's probably my favorite capital city after what brisbane. nah brisbane's not even okay brisbane ain't all that <laughs> <laughs> yeah i just like melbourne i think i like the old school uh city and the buildings and the people are nice and there's heaps of coffee places someone asked how much gym that i do no. zero yeah, no. i do this like that Biceps. I think that does some stuff. That's probably about it. Mm -hmm. I do gym for work. Only because I have to. Push-ups can you do? Ah, oh, push-ups are fine. I only have to do eight for my fitness test. Eight? Yeah, eight. 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 I can't do one. <laughs> Someone just said thoughts. That's not helpful. Thoughts on what? Thoughts I don't know what them. that means. Thoughts on them. On them? Yeah, they want your opinion on them. That, why didn't they say that? That's a thought for you. It's on Instagram. Just go thought. Too old. <laughs> what the hell? How does how does that mean that? Yeah, yeah your account's private. Sorry. That's, it's that's what happened. From what I see, you drive a Triton. Ew. That's that's probably enough thoughts right there. <laughs> <laughs> You're ruining it. Pause for a second while I show it screwed to the TV. <laughs> 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 I wrapped a line on my dual cab 75 in Sandy Torp. No. Dual cab 75? That sounds cool. And yes, because I would be interested in seeing what that looks like. Getting sacked tomorrow. What's oh. the plan, you reckon? <laughs> when you go to the pub, I'll find a job. Why are you getting sacked? Yeah, why are you getting sacked? That's a bit weird. What did you do? Do you think relationships work if the other person isn't as touchy feely as you or vice versa? No. Nope. Nope. Ask this one. Nope. Why not? It can work. You're just saying no. Nope. No. Nope. Nope. I think you have to be acknowledging that fact and maybe try and do some other stuff with them. I'm not touchy feely. <laughs> I'm not touchy feely, but Carrie's real touchy feely. I just accept it. It's not it. your love language. I just take it. <laughs> <laughs> just take it. If I come home and the dishes have been done, that is massive. That's some. I wish that worked for me. I only get it every day. <laughs> what? What? Huh? Especially last night after I cleaned the whole house, <laughs> mate. Mate. I said There's a domestic you, going on. Over here. <laughs> Look what you've done, <laughs> random person. Oh, hello, Papa. Oh, oh, hello. Do you smell like pee? Do you smell like pee? It might be me. <laughs> <laughs> Acknowledge that not everyone has the same. Love way language. of shock, yeah, love language calling to charity. Affection. What would be a good first four drive for a teenager? Whatever you can afford with your own money. Not a Hilux. Not a Toyota Hilux. Two wheel drive. Oh my god. 2.7 litre. But whatever you can afford. Except for that. Except for Hilux. And, and and except except Navarro. Except Navarro. <laughs> Let's get a Land Cruiser. Advice on the fake friends type. What get rid of them. You don't need them in your life. Yeah, just be a loner. Get a doggo. Get a doggo. Even if they fake friend you, it's okay. <laughs> oh, they're so cute! Ah, the biggest smell is strong in this one. <laughs> <laughs> Thoughts on petrol land cruisers? Why? If I could throw up. Who has that much money to spend on petrol? Is there enough leg room in a 75 for a person over 6 foot? Yes. <laughs> if you have driven my car. Yeah. Look, it's not a lot. <laughs> But you can fit in there. Do you still have your motorbike? Yes, I do. Cape York or Kakadu? I haven't been to either. I'm going to the Cape mid-year. I'll have to say Cape for now. How do I get a girl like you? <laughs> <laughs> Big dick. 
<laughs> no, I don't know. You just gotta maybe get off the internet. People always say, "How do I find people like you?" You need to get off the internet. Just go to a pub and talk to some people. Join a sport. Join a hobby. But why do Queenslanders Queenslanders love? <laughs> <laughs> Why do Queenslanders love a Bundy? Because it's from Queensland, the national drink. Except I'm the only one in this room who actually likes Bundy. Yeah, it's just a, it's just a bogan thing. Galen is a shit player. Galen is a shit. What's better, a keg or a six pack? The drink or the body? You'd want a keg. Not that I've ever drunk out of the keg. If you're talking about the dad bod style, maybe Maybelline. 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 <laughs> maybe it's Maybelline. I don't think that really matters, really. People with six pack abs normally are a little bit up themselves to be honest. They hurt to lie on. They hurt to lie on. Words of wisdom <laughs> from Katie. Oh, here we go. Does modifying and improving the looks of your car make oneself more appealing to the opposite sex? Yes. <laughs> yes, it does. If they have a nice car, like this to begin, then no, no, no. But if some guy came pick me up and showed his old little pink thing, I'd probably be like, uh, you know. Yes, but if it was a lowered pink thing with a big supercharger on it, you'd be like, that's pretty cool. I'd be like, oh, yeah. <laughs> one HDT, yes. If I was gonna engine swap, I'd go a one HDT, not a one HDFT, because ain't nobody got time for electronic. Why Townsville? I'm posted there. How do I stop bending the steering arm in my safari? Did two in just over a week. I'm just gonna say in general, normally if something is breaking over and over again, there's a bigger issue somewhere. Opinion on people forward drive shaming, i.e. not a Toyota, rubbish, not a Nissan, not a Nissan NA, rubbish. So, I don't really see the point of this because all four wheel drives in my opinion are just as capable as each other, like there's that many modifications. If everyone had stock four drives and they just went out on the same track at the same time with the same driver, you'd probably see the downsides and benefits to them, but no one does. Everyone's just modified, and I think everyone four drive is capable. It's really just the person who's steering it that alters whether it's good or bad. If you're a good four wheel driver, you'd be able to get up anything in any car, so. You know, everyone gives each other shit and it's just banter. Be happy to jump in any four drive. I know that it's down to the driver and really has nothing to do with IFS, solid, yeah. petrol, diesel, lifted, not lifted, locked, unlocked. Really does not matter in the end. Oh my god, okay, I'm just gonna answer this and you guys can testify again. Are my boobs real? <laughs> Unfortunately, they are. <laughs> There's so many questions in here. I've had them since birth. They're from my mother. <laughs> I, just, I don't have money to buy boobs. But if only I had money to buy boobs. <laughs> no, girls' boobs change all the time. It doesn't mean that they had a boob job. Uh, what drone do I use? I have a Mavic Pro and I like it because I had a drone before that which was a knockoff one of the Phantoms and it's really good, but you couldn't fold it up. The Mavic, you can car carry. Yeah, you can carry it in one hand. <laughs> you can carry it in one hand. What would you tell a female if she said she wanted to be a mechanic? Like what advice? Make sure it's something you actually really enjoy. Do like work experience at a workshop somewhere that see if you can just get in there for a day. It is very dirty work. There's nothing glamorous about it whatsoever. So probably make sure it's something you really want to do before going and committing to an entire four year apprenticeship. Don't be scared about working in a place with heaps of guys because most guys these days are really good with having girls in the workshop. Old Holden Belmont or old Ford Falcon. I have a Ford Falcon and I am a Ford girl so obviously I'm gonna choose Ford Falcon. <sighs> Can I marry you? No thanks, pretty busy this weekend. <laughs> Got some stuff on. Opinions on the Jeep girl culture. I don't know what Jeep girl culture is. Some places call four drives Jeeps, so maybe they mean four drive girl culture. I think it's awesome if that's what you mean because more girls should be into four driving. It's a really good way to meet new people for one and the confidence that you get from four driving I think is amazing. Cheers. Thank you. So good. It's best brand of Muddy's. I don't think there is a best brand. I think they all do the same job. It's just whether or not they're gonna last as long and if they're gonna be super noisy. 
I ran Bighorns for about six years and they're pretty good price. They were super noisy when they wore down. Never had a puncture. They wore pretty evenly except for my camber obviously destroyed the insides but if it was set up correctly they would have been fine. Um, and I got about 70,000 out of them and that was still with a fair amount of tread on them. I have KM3s now in 35s and I also have Falcon Wild Peaks. The Wild Peaks are very underrated for a mud tires. I'm interested to see how they wear and obviously the KM3s interesting to see. I probably only put 8,000 on them but they've been through snow, sand, mud, highway and loving them so far. What made you choose a Landy over Patrol? Landy is a Land Rover. Land Cruiser is just called a cruiser. But uh, I chose Land Cruiser because I knew they were going to hold their value, easy to find parts for. I just like them better. My 35's better on fuel than 33's. Yes, my 35's, I averaged about 14 litres per 100 and my 33's, it's about 16 litres per 100. Opinions on IFS four drives. I personally don't like them, but if they were set up more for four driving rather than comfort, they could be a lot more capable than solid axle. But at the moment, most IFS four drives are made for comfort on the roads and handling and steering and things like that. If you look at off-road buggies, they all have IFS suspension and they're crazy. You can get heaps more flex out of an IFS car, but obviously you need the lengths in the control arms, which you can't have on a road car because your tires will stick outside your guard. Oh, here we go. What to do on a first date tonight? First date ideas? Footy and fishing chips. I thought you were going to say footy and fishing. <laughs> footy and fishing chips would be alright. It depends where you are. Go really. somewhere public. Yeah, definitely don't take them back to your house. It's very oh, presumptuous. <laughs> yeah. Just go somewhere with food. Girls love food. Stacks on the cruiser? No, I hate stacks. It's not a truck. Don't be stupid. This is the one I wrote out before. On Instagram, you snap at guys slash shut down certain comments, but on YouTube, you seem very chill. How come? I think, I think I snap at people accidentally, and it comes across like that. I'm not angry. <laughs> I'm not angry at everyone. You have a look when you're angry. Hmm. I'm not angry. Just sometimes when you're repeating yourself multiple times over and over again, you just become blunt. That's the life but of a vlogger, man. It's just, it's not nothing personal, guys. I definitely still do it on YouTube, but I think people just don't see it as much on YouTube. And also, when people make crude comments on Instagram, obviously you're not going to get a loving reply. These are things about Snapchat. I don't give people out my Snapchat because I don't post on there to begin with. I don't see the point. If you need to uh, ask me a question, I answer all my Instagram messages. I send photos on Instagram anyway if you want to show me your car, so not your dick. <laughs> <laughs> what would you say to girls who get put down by other chicks for just being themselves? I think this is very big on social media, but I think all women... I don't think it's as bad with guys because guys don't really care that much. Let's be honest. But girls are very quick to judge. I think it's just in the whole gossipy nature. Nature. Yeah, the girls forward drive group has been really good because they are supporting women, doing what women love, and there's not really any judgment there. You can't really judge people for doing what they like, whether you agree with it or not. I think you've got to be open that everyone's living their own life, and just because you don't want to do something or you don't agree with something, that someone's doing, eh. I think people get really judgy when other girls are super confident on social media. Other people see that as something to take down or bring them down for doing, but you know, if you want to go out and do whatever, you go and do whatever the hell you want. All right, I think that's all the questions. <laughs> Bye from Katie. <laughs> oh, fabulous. <laughs> Darling, you're fabulous. Absolutely fabulous. I love what you've done with your hair. <laughs> oh, why did these humans do this to me? It is so humiliating. I'll puck you. So that was the video. I hope you guys sort of enjoyed seeing a bit of a different q and I don't know if I'll do one of those again. I do a lot of Q&As just regularly on Instagram. So if you want to head over there, I also have a highlight that you can check out and it's got a lot of a lot of questions so if you ever wanted to know something maybe 
have a look through that and see a few questions there. I know that everybody wants four wheel drive videos. I go four wheel driving sort of just on my own unless we're doing like a full trip away. I can't really film. It's really awkward to set up a tripod and then four wheel drive and then <laughs> move the tripod and <laughs> it just gets like it takes the fun out of it for me. But yes, I know you guys want more four wheel drive action videos, but I'm sauce. If you guys enjoyed this video, definitely like and subscribe, hit the notification bell. If you want to know anything else, just drop a comment down below. I don't know why I say drop a comment, type a comment, and I will answer that one for you.